It's time for Whose Take Is That Anyway? Hello everyone, welcome to Whose Take Is That Anyways? I'm your host, Isfandi Arbarahini, and the NBA is officially back. With that being said, we've decided to put our Raptors Republic staffers to the test with some obstacles and quizzes and things that will really challenge even the most creative. Our panelists slash contestants will be Robel, who is dreaming of uh, LaMelo Ball being a Toronto Raptor right ah. now as we speak. Lewis, Every day. <laughs> Lewis, who inadvertently may yell out CEBL players' names throughout the show, so I do apologize <laughs> in advance. Andrew? Very who, advertently. <laughs> Andrew, who is known for overdressing at Raptors 905 games, apparently. I'm not too sure about this, but apparently you are. Okay, we'll take it. Katie, who is probably still very mad at me and forgetting about her for the Raptors Avengers Twitter thingy. Yeah, story. but I always I want to say that Andrew always looks great, so that's not, <laughs> that's not a critique. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Um, all right, guys, before we get into our discussion, we have, a, we have a good discussion ahead of us. I just want to do a brief explanation of the rules. Our contestants are going to go through five different rounds of competition. If we end up in a tie, there will be a sudden death round, which I am just hoping for. Each round will require specific skill sets to get a point. Each contestant will be given 45 seconds to give an answer. There is no interjecting when a contestant is talking, but you may respond to them with the time allocated to you. There is no repeating arguments. If your argument is taken, you must think of a different answer. There is absolutely no do-overs. And most importantly, have fun with it, get creative, and think of the best response. This is just for you guys to get creative and, and just have fun with all the stuff that we talk about weekly with Raptors content. All right, everyone, how is everyone feeling about this right now? Everybody feeling confident? Everybody feeling ready to, to win the second episode of Whose Take Is That Anyways? I think Obviously. so. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for third place. I, I'm not very confident. <laughs> okay, at least you're being honest with yourself. That's that's a good part. That's a good part. All right, let's uh, let's jump into it. Round number one is called Sales Solutions. The Raptors, with an impressive 107-92 win over the Los Angeles Lakers in their very first seeding game, there was a lot of bright spots to pick out from this game. Kyle Lowry doing Kyle Lowry-esque things with a 33-point dominant performance. OG Ananobi shooting 88% on the night and only missing one shot. Pascal Siakam's great defense defense against Anthony Davis, but there was also some areas of concern, some, some areas where we can be critical of. You guys each have 45 seconds to pick one area of concern for the Raptors and provide the best solution possible. Now, your 45 seconds must also sound like a car salesman trying to sell me a car, but this time mm. you are trying to convince me of how to fix the Raptors' issues. We're going in alphabetical order, which means, Andrew, you are first, followed by Katie, Lewis, and Robel. Andrew, are you ready? Any as questions? ready as I'll ever be. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So, all right. Your time starts now. Perhaps my biggest area of concern, and this may surprise a lot of you, just watching Marcus all play, I know he's skinny Mark, and that was very exciting to see that picture, but he looks just as slow and not as fleet of foot but maybe just a little bit weaker now i mean he had this one post up where he i think he was posting up maybe it was Dion waiters i think or was it jr smith he did end up laying it in but he's kind of barely got above the rim so i was a bit concerned by the speed and the the length that he showed in in that game now this is one game and he's still working himself back into shape we know he sat out the first parts of practice he pulled himself out just to make sure he was in good condition but something to keep an eye on not the biggest concern in the world time i think gasol might be something to, to, to look at okay all right mark gasol area of concern okay sounds good katie you are up next your 45 seconds starts now uh, you know, you want to take a look at this guy over here. Uh, his name's uh, Serge Ibaka. You know, he didn't get much. Uh, he didn't get much play this uh, this last game. It was a look at the good, but I feel pretty confident that it's just going to take somebody coming in, you know, revving this guy up, giving him a little bit more gas. You know, you can come around, you can kick, kick the tires a little bit, but you know this guy. You know this guy's going to deliver in the clutch. So uh, just a 
I'm trying to think of like how to be a better car salesman. <laughs> no, you're doing, doing a good mean. job. You're doing a all good right, job. All right, all right, all right. Uh, you know, you just uh, you just gotta come in here. Uh, just uh, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Okay. Well, I forgot that I was a car sales. That I was a car salesman midway through, actually. So I don't know who you wins in that regard. Your, you jumped into your reporter bag. I liked it. I liked it. Uh, okay, so sir, that, uh, sir, is my time up? Probably. Yes, your time is now up. Yeah, it's, it's okay though. You, that was that was a valiant effort to do car puns. I'm trying to be greasy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, okay, excited. all right. <laughs> Rebel, <laughs> Rebel, your uh, your time. You're good to go. By the way, your time. Starts. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Your time starts now. Okay, so yes, Fred Van Vliet is a horrible point guard when he's on the ball. But I'm going to get interrupted. Um, I'm recording a podcast. Please be quiet. Okay, actually, can I give that to you? That, that, I'll give you that because a salesman would do that to you. We'll go again. Okay, <laughs> okay right. so yes, Fred Van Vliet is very bad. And his tunnel vision does hurt the team sometimes and does make the offense stagnant. But when he's off the ball, like we saw at the end of the game, when Larry was on the ball, he was amazing, hit the clutch threes like he did in the finals, like every single game when he's off the ball. And he was just a reliable guy. When he's playing off the ball, he's passing to OG Adenobi, he's throwing lobs, he's being more unselfish. So even though Fred Van Vliet has some, um, you know, bad on-ball reps, when he's off the ball like he should be, and the Raptors know that it's the best position, the Raptors will be fine. Okay. All right. I like it. I like it. I like it. Solid, solid, solid. I might buy a car called Fred Van Vliet. I might do it. I might do it. Okay. Lewis, you are last but not least. Let's see <laughs> your best car salesman impression. Three, two, one. Hey, look, look, listen, <laughs> listen. When's the last time you ever saw the Raptors succeed against size? It's tough. The last time they played the Sixers, you remember that in the playoffs, Embiid gave them all kinds of trouble. Last night, Norm Powell had trouble finishing oversize. Van Fleet had some iffy moves there in the paint. Lowry, if he didn't have 33 points, one of the best games you ever seen, the Raptors might not have blown him out. Size is tough and listen to me, trust me, I have a mustache. <laughs> but but who, who are you selling? <laughs> He was just selling the idea of uh, of confidence. I don't know what it was. Yeah. The Raptors being you had the proud, you had the whole but... setup of the this is bad, yeah. and <laughs> you you were actually being the salesman, and then you just sort of you forgot to left, pick somebody. You, yeah. you left the rest blank. I think. Yeah, oh, here you go. Like, everyone was flawed anytime. in their own way. Buy I got a ca- I got a two thousand Camry, good as new, only eighty thousand miles on the thing. It's perfect. Uh, he said he was go- aiming for third place. I think he's doing a good job there. But- <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love the back talk. Okay, um, listen, t- tough, tough pick because you know what? None of you guys really have the car salesman that was uh, that I was really looking for here. Okay, but. Um, you know, good arguments overall. Really, really good arguments. I think uh, everybody was compelling. Everybody had their little feel to them when it came to selling. Obviously, uh, only a couple of you had the actual car terminology used, which I appreciated. I don't know. I don't know who I would pick. I think I'm going to go with Lewis because he did try <laughs> the most in terms of actually giving me a car salesman. While he didn't give me a solution, and a lot of car salesmen don't give solutions too often. It was good. It was good. So this time, uh, the Raptors infused thing that you win for the first round is going to be in honor of Kyle Lowry. We're going to give you a big giant peach. You can you can infer what that means yourselves. You can you can pick whatever that that means. It's up, it's up to you guys. Um, next round, we'll, we'll jump straight into it. This is called block or charge dedicated to Lowry's wonderful performance. I'm going to throw out a certain fact about the Toronto Raptors this season to you. And if you decide it is a block, meaning wrong or charge, meaning correct, you have five seconds to answer. If you end up, uh, if you, if you ended up actually doing the quiz earlier that Blake Murphy put on the athletic, you have a bit of an advantage here. Okay. You have a bit of an advantage here. We will go around in a circle. The statements will get progressively harder. If you get wrong, if you get it wrong, you are out. The last person standing wins. So it's kind of like weakest link in a sense. Okay. Um, we're going to go in order. It'll be Katie, Rebel. Actually, we should probably start with the guy who won. Lewis, Katie, <laughs> Rebel, and Andrew, finally. Okay. 
All right. So Sounds good. first block or charge. Kyle Lowry had a dominant performance last night, notching a double double of 33 points and 14 rebounds. Those 14 rebounds were a career high charge or block Lewis. That's a charge. Okay. Nice. Very that you're, you're correct. All right, Katie, <laughs> the Raptors held Anthony Davis and LeBron James to 35 points combined. Block or charge? Charge it. That is a block. You are out. <laughs> 34 points combined. I, it's, it's, I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really paying very close attention to the numbers. I have to be extremely honest with that's, you. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I was just feeling good and loose. Like right, I ask her about the feelings. That question. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, Robel. Uh, former Raptor Danny Green had a dud last night, scoring zero points and shooting zero for ten from the field. Block or charge? Hmm. Uh, block. Yes. Yes, you're right. You shot zero for seven from yeah, the field. Yeah, he didn't take that many shots. I okay. remember that. All right. Oh, uh, Andrew, you are up next. OGN and Obi missed one shingle, single shot all night. Not shingles. Jesus. The, <laughs> the shot was a free throw in the third quarter. Block or charge? Block. I was trying to remember if block is wrong or not. Block. Yes, yeah. you are correct. It was I was trying to do that too. It was, <laughs> it was not a free throw. It was a shot attempt in the second quarter. Uh, Lewis, back to you. Rondé Hollis Jefferson went down at the end of the first quarter and did not return until the fourth. Block or charge? That's a charge. That is correct. Lewis, off to a good start. Back to you, Robel. When the NBA released its schedule for the seeding game, the Toronto Raptors had the third hardest schedule in the league for the eight remaining games. Charge, charge or block? Charge, charge, charge. That's a block. Mm. It was the hardest schedule, not the third hardest. Dun, dun, what? Dun. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I probably saw some like, advanced stat and it said like, third, and I was just like, right, I'll go with third now. Yeah. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> All right, Robel, you are out now, so it is between Andrew and Lewis. Let's let's see if Lewis can jump out to a big lead. All right, Andrew, the Raptors defeated the Chicago Bulls in a historic 46 points, 60, excuse me, 46 point victory in February to beat the franchise record. Charge or block? Block. Yes, that is correct. They played the Indiana Pacers. You closed your eyes. That's a lucky guess. <laughs> 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 Lewis, back to you. Terrence Davis is the only Raptor to have played in every single game this season. Charge or block? That's a charge, baby! All right. Nice, nice. Back to you, Andrew. The Raptors were injured a lot this season using 22 different starting lineups. Charge or block? Block. That is a block. You're correct. It is 15 different starting lineups. Uh, did you guess that one as well? No, that was an educated guess. That okay. seemed like a high number. So. Okay. All right. Fair sure. enough. Terrence Davis won Rookie of the Month in the month of December. Charge or block, Lewis? That's a that's okay. a charge. That's actually a block. He did not win Rookie of the Month at all. So, Andrew, <laughs> you are the victor in this one. So, it is all tied up at one. Yes. Katie, Robel, you guys got to get on the board. All right. Okay. This, I feel this, funny. I feel this okay. Next, okay. Okay. Still feeling confident. Still feeling confident. <laughs> Look, if you know a lot of facts about players coming up, this is this one, this next round is going to help you out a lot. Um, the next round is going to going to be called "Can't Take the Heat." Now, originally, I kind of wanted to send you guys the spiciest chip in the world for it to be ready, so you guys could have this while trying to guess the answers, which would have made for a lot of fun. I agree, but they're sold out of the chip, so I can't do anything about that. Regardless, the Raptors. Uh, are facing the Miami Heat on Monday, and they've lost both times during the season. We should probably talk about the game that's coming up on Monday. They have them for the third time in a row in a matinee affair. And maybe we're struggling to to beat them because we're just not familiar enough with them. You know, maybe, you know, we've seen Jimmy Butler, we've played Goran Dragic and crew in the playoffs, but maybe we're just not familiar enough. So I'm going to quiz you on some current Miami Heat players. I have 10 points. 10 facts each about three players on the Heat. You can guess at any time. The maximum amount of points that you can get is 10. And with each fact, the point total goes down. The contestant with the most amount of points after three rounds or three guesses or three players, excuse me, pretty much wins. Does anybody need an example before we start? Yes, no, maybe so. So you're going to just give a clue and then one of us can jump in. If we guess wrong, we're out. 
Exactly. I will okay. give you, I will give you an example. So let's say for uh, Jimmy Butler, I could be like 10 points. This player likes Taylor Swift. If nobody guesses uh, nine points, he played for Tom Thibodeau twice, eight points. Right. And then it keeps going down. You guys have a chance to intersect whenever you guys want to. Cool. Sounds right. good. Sounds good. Okay. The very first player for 10 points, this player was born in Maine and played basketball in New Hampshire. Duncan Robinson. Damn it. Wow. Okay. 10 points right there for you. Okay. All right. He was ready. Okay. So Andrew on the board with 10. Wow. This might go quicker than I thought. Okay. Next player for 10 points. This player is from North Carolina. Nine points. He played alongside Dennis Smith Jr. in high school. Oh, this. Uh, Eight nah. points. His team once destroyed De'Aaron Fox's high school team by 30 points. Seven points. His original name is Idris. Bam, bam, bam out of bio. There you go. All right, seven points, bam out of bio. So, so Rebel's on the board now. Okay, okay, okay. We've got one more. Lewis, Katie, nothing yet. Let's let's see what you guys got. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> For ten points, this player was born in Villa Rico, Georgia. Tyler here. Incorrect, Lewis. You're out. You cannot guess anymore. It's oh. all good. I needed ten. <laughs> I was high yeah. in now. Nice. You went yeah. down swinging. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Right. We'll, we'll, we'll keep playing. Maybe we're yes, Let's keep playing. I love trivia. Let's go. Right. Uh, <laughs> for nine points, he is one of seven siblings. Wow. For eight, he played quarterback and point guard in high school. For seven, his father helped him lose weight as he was 200 pounds at the age of 12. Myers Leonard. No, incorrect, Andrew. You're out. So, Rebel, you have a chance to win if you get this, Katie. You still okay. have a chance to get on the board. Okay. Thank All right. you. Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't win. What am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right. For, Keep for going. six for six points, his father played in the NBA with the Utah Jazz and San Antonio Spurs. For five points, he was drafted 35th. Excuse me, 34th overall by Cleveland, and was traded to the Mavericks on draft night. For four points, he played in three different colleges, South George Tech. Jay South Crowder, Georgia. Jay Crowder. There you go. You got you it. Go. You win. Ah! Ah, and he wins. He go. wins right <laughs> on the money. <laughs> Jay Crowder to the Mavericks. I know his career. Man. He, went, he played in the Mavericks. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, so now Robel is on the board as well. So we've got a three-way tie. And uh, I think I think Katie's going to do well on this one. We might have to en end up in a tiebreaker. And listen, if you guys know me, I love the tiebreaker. The tiebreaker is, is my golden child. I love it so much. All right. Fourth round. This segment is called Around the Hardwood. Yes, we focus on the Raptors and mostly Raptors themed news here. But I do want your thoughts on some of the interesting stories around the league. I will throw out the start of a tweet and you each have 10 seconds to add an ending to that tweet. They will be different tweets for each contestant. If you can't finish the tweet, another contestant has the opportunity to steal. Good. Sounds Does good. Does it have to be real? It is not a real tweet. It okay. Tweet <laughs> I have concocted. Yes. Yeah. It is. It's okay. Oh, it's tweet. like the tweets are about um, the sub like NBA subjects, like yes. news and stuff. Okay. Yeah. And you just gotta you gotta you gotta fire off a funny tweet, man. That's it. You gotta you gotta get those likes. Gotta get those retweets. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. Okay. Um, all right. The first one, and we'll go with uh, the winner here, Robel. You, you won the last round, so you go first. Luka Doncic is the blank to James Harden's blank. Um, he is the. I don't, I don't know. He's the. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Anybody? Uh, anybody want the chance to steal here? Yeah, he's the spice of the James Harden size, so. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, quick on your feet. I like I'm it. not that creative. I can't do it. <laughs> Four-way tie, so we're going to the tiebreaker now. I think. Yeah. No, we, we, still got, we still got more tweets. Let's see if anybody can can uh, can match what Katie did right there. So but does that mean I'm out, or can I go again? Uh, you were out, sir. I okay. Apologize. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, man. It's okay. You have, to, you have fire tweets, bro. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's, it's all good. Uh, uh, the, the only thing worse than the Celtics, and this is Andrew, by the way. I apologize. The only thing worse than the Celtics complaining about foul calls is blank. The only thing worse than the Celtics complaining about foul calls. See, I've sent one tweet in the last five months. So this... Uh, <laughs> 
Is this your I got off Twitter I'm... for the pandemic. I got I, I this pretty is a much long finished the tweet. That's right. That's right. <laughs> the only thing worse than the Celtics complaining about fouls. There you go. Thank you for that. I needed a buzzer. Was, can I steal this you. one? You can steal this one. Go ahead. The only thing worse than the Celtics complaining about foul calls is the Celtics getting foul calls. Nice. Very nice. Also, very Solid true. tweet. Solid yeah. tweet. Yeah. I, I that's that a, a, yeah, go ahead. That's like four likes right there. That's that's what I cap out at. So. 100%. <laughs> I, I think that's a, that's a retweet with a comment from a Celtics player just being like, huh, but you guys lost Kawhi Leonard. Something like that, you know? And I have no comeback. <laughs> um, all right, Katie, you are up next. If I could be any basketball player, I would be blank because blank. PJ Tucker, because he's always driving around in convertibles topless. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, this 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 whole section was constructed for Katie to win. There's no wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough. But, but you're able to fill in the blanks. I couldn't even say words. I yeah, just... me too. That is yeah. something he does, and he looks so free and happy when he does it. And yeah. I just like you. Just like, I want that feeling. All right, I think uh, I think I'm gonna have to give it to Katie here. This round <laughs> does deserve. Uh, also, y- this whole game deserves a, a little bit of a tiebreaker round, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, uh, yes, never- points all around for everybody. So never so even guys- got my own tweet. <laughs> do, you, do you want? I have I have another tweet locked and loaded. I could give it to you. Yeah, give it to him. Give all right. it to me. Poor ESPN's guy. ESPN's excuse for the Raptors beating the Lakers will be blank. Because Kyle Lowry is the greatest player of all time, and Perk sent that tweet. <laughs> okay, all right. That's that was horrible. Like, that Give was that like, one to Katie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was like that was like one like. That's and okay, you're like, man. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. Katie wins that round, so it is a, it is an all around tiebreaker. Um, this this last round, like I said, is is really really my favorite, and we're gonna keep it here on whose take is that, anyways. This is called. I don't do content, I do art. You each have five minutes to create something basketball related, Raptors related, I don't mind. It could be anything you want. It could be a song, people did drawings last week. It could be a tweet. If you're good at tweets, you could tweet. There's skits, you could create a skit. If you wanna become Alex Trebek like uh, Lewis was a couple of days ago, you could totally do that as well. The world is your oyster, okay? We're gonna take a quick break five minutes let you guys figure it out trust me we'll be back quicker than you guys realize chair have your name on it uh yeah it's like a special like chair for my body specifically (laughs) okay is everyone ready i don't want to rush anybody but i am ready and i'm like really on the clock right now okay Okay, you can go because i made something but it's really stupid so i'm going with a sec a backup okay Okay. all right welcome (laughs) all right so uh, Welcome back real quick. We're going to, we're going to do this because, uh, you know, parent parenting duties are obviously the most important here. Andrew, I will let you go first. What do you have for us? Thank you very much. I'm just going to try to set this up as best I can. Hold on one minute, one minute. No way. Okay. Here we go. Holy shit. Yeah, we lost. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. He's wrote a little tune. Okay. If you notice, I'm um, wearing a Bob Marley shirt, and there was a Bob Marley poster in the background. So I did notice. Let's try this. <laughs> Can you hear the piano? Can you hear that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're good. We're good. A bubble life. <laughs> Little darling. Bubble life. Come on, Raptors. It's been a long, long time since we saw the NBA. (laughs) Now it is here. It's so clear to go for the Larry O.B. Just you and me. Oh, yes, we the North. Little darling, we the North. 
Woo-hoo! Woo, 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 woo. Off to a strong start, man. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Wow. Okay. All right. Anybody else want to jump in on this? I'll show you the stoop really bad thing I made. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> I gave up. Is this going to work? Oh, wait. I have to I'll figure out this. Oh, this is brilliant. Yes. I hope this works. Oh, no. It's not. Try, uh, try, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see what you did. I see what you did. Wait. <laughs> it's not working. It, well, it, oh. Oh. I got to the point where LeBron you got there. collides with Lowry. <laughs> and they explode. <laughs> and Lowry's prevailing. But then I couldn't really decide on an ending, and I also realized how difficult this was going to be, so I gave up. <laughs> Honestly, that was that was really cre- – both you guys, very creative stuff. Oh, my God. Okay, all right. Uh, Robel, Lewis, which, which one of you guys want to go first? Lewis can go first. Okay. All right. all right, guys. I wrote a little poem here. You can see it's scribbled, so I'll, I'll recite it. Beautiful. All right. Kyle Lowry takes a charge from opponent who's much too large. OG spin so stiff, so slow, still makes defender lunge and whiff. Ah, so slow, so stiff, still makes defender <laughs> lunge and whiff. There we go, there we go. I can't read. Pascal jumper, Mark bounce pass, lets the Raptors points in a mass. But single thing that wins the game is Nick Nurse's musical guitar fame. <laughs> Yes, yes, oh. yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're right. I've never been to a poetry slam, so you're right. Yeah, I got to go with the, the snapping fingers. Robel, last but okay. not least. Let's see it, man. I'm just going to say it's the worst. Everyone else was way better. Okay. <laughs> I don't know that that's true. I, I didn't want to get that. off my seat. I just say, I just had a tweet. I was just like, let me just get creative. That's the, that's the best thing I could do. Right? So I had an analogy. I compared the Raptors defense to an animal, and it's an octopus. Right? Okay. So I said the Raptors defense is like an octopus. Each player is a leg, and when the defense is in rotation, it's like the animal trying to capture its target. So it's not defense. It's like like right. attacking. Like it's like offense on defense. That's how I want to. Wait, where's the tweet? It. I didn't tweet it yet. It's not good enough for you to tweet. In, I'm <laughs> gonna, no, I was gonna it. say it and then it. I'll press it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, it's a draft. It's a, okay, it's a draft. It's, it's a, a draft. draft. So yeah. I'm just showing you guys. Like I have it right here. Uh, there we go. I don't know if you guys can read it, but yeah. Yeah, it's ready to go. So. Okay. All right. Listen, it's ready, man. everybody yeah, it's came with it today. Everybody really, really came with it. It was, this was fun in my opinion. I don't know if you guys had fun, but I had a lot of fun. This, this was, this was good. This was really good. Especially the bubble life. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, I, it's tough. The drawing, it was awesome. Andrew, with the time pressure of a of a kid right there concocting a song, it's it's impressive. Lewis, little little slip up there on the poetry, but <laughs> but, but a valiant effort. Rebel, a tweet, awesome as well because yes, the Raptors are like octopuses or octa. Is it octopi? No, no, it's, octopi. I guess is, is okay. All right, whatever. Yeah, um, I'm gonna give it to Andrew. Yeah, yes. you gotta. Yeah, I have to. I have to. <laughs> Listen, I'll, everybody was awesome, but you, recency you made bias it. wins that last <laughs> challenge. There's level, nah. There's levels to it. There's yeah, levels to it. yeah. That's well, good. but you know, the thing is, um, the whole point of the show is to kind of show the creative juices of all of our wonderful writers here, and you guys absolutely did that. So the Republic has spoken. Yeah, that's that's the term I'm trying to hey. coin. By the hey. way, the Republic has spoken. Andrew, you are the winner of episode numero dos. Thank you. <laughs> and thanks for setting all this up, man. It's a lot of effort. Like, it's, it's great. It was, I had a lot of time to fun. I, I hope you did, and I hope everybody oh. else did, too. So did Levi. <laughs> <laughs> I did not have <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I think I think he is also speaking for all of us that we want to get out of here. Thank you so much for all of our wonderful contestants. And if you guys do like this type of stuff, do subscribe to the Raptors Republic YouTube channel. Hit that notification button, and uh, hopefully, if they uh, if they like me enough, they'll keep me around for another week. Take care, everyone. Let's go, Raptors. <laughs>